Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to convert a mixed number, sometimes called a mixed fraction, to an improper fraction. Let's first dissect a mixed number. You have a whole number part and a fractional part. The denominator of the fraction tells you how many parts each whole number is worth. So the mixed number 2 and 2 thirds, each whole number, is worth 3. Therefore, with 2 and 2 thirds, you have 3 times 2, which equals 6 parts, plus you have 2 in the numerator, so it becomes 6 plus 2, which equals 8. And then with an improper fraction, you always keep the same denominator of the fraction, so the improper fraction equals 8 thirds. So now let's convert 3 and 3 fourths to an improper fraction. You have a denominator of 4, so each whole number is worth 4. And you have 3 whole numbers. So 4 times 3 equals 12. You have a numerator of 3, so you add 3, and that equals 15. And you keep the same denominator of the fraction, and the denominator is 4. So the improper fraction becomes 15 fourths. Let's work a couple more examples. Okay, so now what I thought would be helpful is I write a couple, work a couple on a piece of paper. So I'm going to rewrite it here so I have plenty of room. So we have 5 and 3 fourths, the mixed number or mixed fraction. That means we have a fraction of 3 fourths and each whole number is equal 4 parts. So let's go ahead and convert it to an improper fraction. We know that the uh, denominator of the fraction always remains the same, so I'm going to write 4, and then we have 5 parts of 4, so I'm going to go 5 times 4 plus the numerator, and so when I uh, complete this, 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3, remember it's all over 4, our original a denominator, and then 20 plus 3 is 23 fourths. So there is 5 and 3 fourths as an improper fraction is 23 fourths. Now let's work another one. We have 6 and a half. I'll rewrite it. 6 and a half equals, okay, remember we have a whole number, mixed number. The denominator will remain the same as the fraction. Okay, we have six parts and each one is worth two, so we will have six times two. And then we add the numerator, and that equals 12 plus one over two, which equals 13 